a very good evening to all the listeners it's time for children's bedtime treasury with let emotion speak don't forget to like the video share the video comment on how did you like the story and subscribe to my channel for more bedtime stories today's story is about the naughty broom goodness me what a lot of dirt and dust there is all over this kitchen floor said the maid she was a very house proud maid and did like dirt and dust on her floor one little bit out came the broom from its place in the cupboard in the corner and soon the maid was busily sweeping the floor and brushing all the dirt and dust into a big dust pan unfortunately this kitchen also had elves living in it they were too tiny to see of course but if you upset them they could be very mischievous indeed as the broom worked away it swept into one dark corner where the elves were having a party suddenly the king elf was swept away from their little table and into the dust pan the next thing he knew he was being thrown with all the other rubbish onto the rubbish tip coughing and spluttering with rage the king elf finally climbed out from under the rubbish in the rubbish tip and stood on top of it he picked the dirt and dust out of his ears and nose pulled a fish bone from out of his trousers and tried to look as king like as he could having just been thrown onto a rubbish tip who did this he squeaked at the top of his voice i'll make someone very very sorry indeed he vowed eventually he made his way back to the house and into the kitchen again the other elves looked at the king elf and did their best not to laugh for the king elf was still looking very dirty and untidy and still had bits of rubbish stuck all over him but other elves knew better than to laugh at the king because he was likely to cast a bad spell on them if they did it was the broom that did it chorused all the other elves right said the king elf then i'm going to cast a bad spell on the broom the broom was by now back in its cupboard the king elf marched over to the cupboard and jumped in through the keyhole the king elf pointed to the broom and said bubble bubble gobble gobble go and cause a lot of trouble and with that the broom suddenly stood to attention its bristles quivering it was night time now and everyone in the house was asleep the broom opened its cupboard door and sprang into the kitchen it then unlocked the kitchen door and went outside straight to the rubbish tip it went and with a flick of its bristle swept a huge pile of rubbish back into the kitchen tin cans dirt dust chicken bones and goodness knows what else called got swept on the kitchen floor the broom then closed the kitchen door took itself back to its cupboard and was all quiet until morning when the maid came down into the kitchen she couldn't believe her eyes who made this awful mess she said if i found out it was those cats she threatened she took the broom from the cupboard and swept all the rubbish back outside again the next night the same thing happened once it was quiet and everyone in the house was asleep out of its cupboard came the broom and into the house came all the rubbish again swept there as before by the naughty broom this time there were fish heads old bottles and all the soot from the fire places well the maid was speechless after cleaning up again she got the gardener to burn all the rubbish from the rubbish tip so that nothing else could be brought in although she still had no idea how it had happened that very night the naughty broom decided it would make a mess in different way so instead of sweeping in rubbish from outside the broom flew up to the shelves and knocked all the jars to the ground with a crash they fell to the floor one after another and spread their contents everywhere 
Stop at this once, demanded a voice suddenly. The broom stopped its mischief. What do you think you are doing? said the voice again. The voice had come from a very stern looking fairy who was now standing on the draining board with her hands on her hips. What the broom did not know was that one of the bottles it had knocked down contained a good fairy imprisoned by the elves. Now she was at last free. The spell was broken and it was her turn to cast a spell. Broom, broom, sweep this floor. Make it cleaner than ever before. Find the elves that cast your spell and sweep them off into the well. She chanted. The broom went to work. It seemed to sweep so fast that its bristle just became to blur. Into this corner it went and then into that and into every nook and cranny it swept. Every bit of dirt and dust and all the broken bottles were swept into the dustpan and then out of the house. Then it came back and swept all the elves down into the well where they couldn't do any more mischief. In the morning, the maid came down to find a spotlessly clean kitchen. She was puzzled to find some of the jars missing, but between you and me, she was also rather pleased. It just meant that there were fewer things to dust. So kids, how did you like the story? Do tell me. Do you know the largest animal on the planet is the blue whale? Our heart is the size of a fist and a Blue whale's heart is the size of a mini car. It weighs up to 33 elephants. So if you see a herd of 33 elephants together, you can imagine a blue whale in the ocean. The baby of a blue whale is called a calf. I hope you like this interesting point about the blue whale. See you tomorrow with another bedtime story. Good night. Take care, sleep well.